Call for cross product part two. Here's a math definition of a cross product. U cross V is equal to the determinant of I, J, K in the first row, uh, components of U in the second row, components of V in the third row. Uh, this gives you the same thing as the physics geometric definition we talked about in the last video. Uh, now I guess the question is how do we evaluate one of these determinants? I'll show you how. Let's suppose u is 1, 1, 3, v is negative 1, negative 1, 0, and uh, we put u in the second row of the determinant, v in the third row of the determinant. Here's a simple way to evaluate what's called a 3 by 3. You copy these two columns over here. There are other variants of this method, but this is just one way to do it. Copy a 1, a 1, copy a negative 1, and a 1. And then what we're going to do is circle all the diagonals. There are three that go that way, and then now there are use my other color marker here. There are three that go this way. Those we're going to make negative. The first three are a plus. I'll leave the plus sign off. And these all represent products. Let's start with zero times one times i. I'll write this for completeness, but normally you can skip it. Negative 1 times 3 times j, negative 3j. And 1 times 1 times k is plus 1k. Now we go the other direction. Negative 1 times 1 times k is negative k. We introduce another negative, so that's really, I'll write minus, minus k. 1 times 3 times i is 3i with a minus. And 0 times 1 times j is 0j with a minus. Then we can simplify 0i minus 3i. And negative 3j, that one zero. And then 1k minus plus k, 1k plus k is plus 2k. And that's the cross product. Now let's go ahead and check. This should be mutually perpendicular to both this and this. So let's check u dot u cross v and we get 1, 1, 3. <clears throat> Times this factor, you can transition to pointy bracket notation, negative 3, negative 3, 2. And we get 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 3 times 2 is plus 6. And we get 0. I'll leave it to you to check v dot u cross v. Okay. You do get zero. You can go ahead and substitute. So, okay, that's the determinant definition. Part three, we'll talk about some geometric applications of the cross product. So that's all for now.